Now we'll start looking at the final group of uh, problems involving coordinate geometry and our uh, equations of circles. Number six, the equation of the circle whose center is at negative four three and is tangent to the y-axis. So we're going to take a look at that via the sketch pad. Here I have um, plotted the point at four negative three and I'm going to construct a circle. If it's going to be tangent to the y-axis, then you can see clearly that its radius is going to be uh, four, four units. If I were to make it to the uh, x-axis, then its radius would be three units. So uh, obviously you can have, now that you have the center and the radius, you can find the equation of the circle. And the expanded form, of course, is uh, the form which uh, looks like uh, this here, okay, uh, the x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y equals 11. And speaking of, let's move to that problem. Uh, write the equation of circle concentric with, of course concentric means sharing the same center, which means we have to find this center of, so to find the center of we need to complete the square and complete the square in x and y. Uh, doing that we look down here and identify the uh, circle whose center is at uh, uh, 2, negative 3. And uh, the radius isn't really necessary because we're just going concentric. Now tangent to this line here, so what I'm going to do is take it, take us to Sketchpad where we're going to look at that. Okay, and we're going to look at this uh, sketch here. So here's the circle that was given to us, the center is 2, negative 3, and the radius is just short of 5. Here's the uh, the line in question, the line CD is dotted here, okay? And we want to draw a circle that's going to go from this center and reach out and just touch that um, that line, okay? And of course uh, if we knew where it was going to touch, then we can compute the distance formula uh, between the center of the circle and and that point of contact, and uh, that would help us to um, uh, help us to find the radius. Well, we do know where it's going to touch because since the since this is needing to be tangent, okay. Again, since since this uh, circle wants to be tangent um, to that, uh, it means it's going to it's going to meet uh, the radius to there is going to uh, form a right going to form a right angle. So I'm going to uh, just uh, get rid of this for the minute, and we're going to say, well, look, okay, if I select and draw uh, a perpendicular from from this line to this point. Um, then, uh, let's try that again, draw the perpendicular from this line to this point. That perpendicular is going to contain the radius, okay? Alright, so in other words, now what do we want to do? We want to, we know what this line is. We know its slope is, is, is 0.75, 3 fourths. So we know the slope of a perpendicular would be of slope negative 4 thirds, and it goes through um, this uh, point here, 2, negative 3. So we want to find the equation of the line having the negative reciprocal slope of this uh, 0.75 and going through um, 2, negative 3. Find that equation, find its intersection with uh, this uh, line which was given. So we'll construct the intersection. Let's try that now. Okay. Construct the intersection. I think we already have it. Okay, the intersection point is right there, and then uh, the circle whose center is at two three and reaches right out to that point of intersection. Okay, is the circle that we're after. Okay, so again, in order to uh, find that point, and I'll find it and show you what it is. Okay. A little awkward, but that's what the points are. So, so, um, so the approach, okay, uh, the outside circle is tangent to 
uh, the line ED, whose equation, uh, CD rather, whose equation is y equals 0.75x plus 4 and a quarter. Okay. Uh, if it's tangent, that means the radius drawn to it is perpendicular. The perpendicularity will uh, we'll take advantage of that for the slope of this line AE. And we'll use the center of the circle for to help find the equation of that line. Then we find the intersection of the line AE and CD. And that is right there. And we compute the distance from A to E. That would be the radius of the circle. So then we have what we need for the equation of the circle. Okay, let's go back and look at some more problems. Um, number eight is going to be quite interesting. Okay, so we're going to sketch that up. Uh, we've got a circle of radius 3 centered at the origin and a 0.78. So I'm going to go take you to a sketch of that. Okay, which is right here. Um, okay, and uh, so here's my circle of uh, radius 3 centered at the origin. Here's my point. Uh, what I want is I want to know the distance from um, uh, A to this point. Uh, I'll just label that point, okay? Label that point as E. The, where E is uh, on a tangent. So in other words, it's not that it could be anywhere because E is on the circle, yeah, but, the ta but that segment is not tangent. So I want this to be tangent. Okay, now one other thing to consider, one distance we can easily find is the distance AB. So we can easily compute the distance AB, okay, using the distance formula. That then effectively wants to be the hypotenuse of a right triangle, okay, because we need a right angle here at E if we are to have a tangent. So we we know that we want we know that E B is going to be three. Uh, we can compute A B by distance formula and then use the Pythagorean theorem we could find the uh, length of A E. Now interestingly enough there is another location where that can happen as well. So uh, I don't think it's asking for the coordinates, but you should be able to find the coordinates of that if asked for. So there's actually two points, uh, two tangents, um, and you're after the, the value of those tangents. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, going back here. Um, this number nine is um, is is not a whole lot different than number six if you just think about it okay and that number uh, 10 uh, is a follow-up on uh, this number four which I kind of uh, which I kind of gave see some hints on in the last video in fact we did uh, once you get the solution to number four then you're approaching that problem the same way you did number two so there you have it